I would almost say that if Russell Westbrook was not traded yesterday, that there was a decent chance that the Lakers would have sent him home. Because I, wow. it, it, and I don't even think that it, it's all, a, I don't even think it's like a personality thing. I don't think LeBron personally dislikes him. I just think that the effect on each other on the court was a negative. And so in addition to, you know, the reality is that the, for the last two years, because of the Westbrook trade, the Lakers have had to employ four or five guys at some times in the rotation who are minimum contract players. And it's no offense to those players. Some of them have played very well at times. Yes. You cannot be a legitimate team and have a, a, a rotation made up of minimum contract players. And so this is a two-pronged thing. They, in these last two trades, they got four new players in here that are legitimately NBA rotation players and some of them front-line players. Russell and Malik Beasley are going to help them instantaneously spread the floor. They're yep. going to be a much improved team. But the second prong is Russell Westbrook was sent away. And that's going to be a big factor. I, I don't know if it's going to be enough for these Lakers to make a run, especially in such a, a, a star-studded right. Western Conference. I do think that by talent now, they have a team that's a playoff talent team with AD and LeBron leading it. But I also think that you will see a bounce from this team once Russell Westbrook is gone. And I don't mean to be insulting, but I'm just telling right. you the way I see it. 